Now, most of you already know that inflation for the month of February and March in South Africa increased, I think, to up to 7.1%, which is something that was not good at all because for February, inflation analysts were expecting 6.9%. It came at 7%. And then March, analysts were expecting an inflation to come at around 6.9%, but it came out at 7.1%. Now, today we were, or oh, the inflation figures for um, April were due and boy, I must say I'm really quite excited because ladies and gents, analysts were expecting an inflation to come at 7%, which obviously we saw it coming at 6.8%. Now, this is something that is incredible because the cost of living yet again, it's on a drown downtrend or it is decreasing, which is something that obviously will make the Federal Reserve maybe to be a bit more lenient tomorrow when they announce uh, the interest rate decision. I think one thing for sure is that we are going to see them, of course, hiking interest rates, but I don't think they will be aggressive that much looking at the fact that the CPI figures or the cost of living figures, which came out today, came lower than what analysts expected, and that is at 6.8%. Now, this is good news because it means that the products and services or the, 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 the products that we use on a day-to-day -day in South Africa, the prices are dropping, which is something that obviously it's a good thing right now. Yes, tomorrow, like I said, we are going to get interest rates decision, which is usually based on inflation. So tomorrow's event or the interest rates decision meeting is usually tied with inflation or how the inflation is doing. And to get to see that today, we got inflation decrease increase to 6.8%. It is one of the things, like I said, that will make or might make, of course, the uh, SA Reserve Bank to be lenient tomorrow and they uh, increase interest rates because there were already some uh, people that were saying or some analysts that were saying they even see a 50 basis point or 0.5% increase being announced tomorrow. So before we forget, I also see right now that this video is just an entertainment video and not a professional financial advice video. And I would really appreciate if you can just hit the like button if you I enjoy the content that I'm giving you about the SA figures for inflation coming out today, which came out better than what analysts expected. I mean, this is good news not only to consumers, but it, this is also good news to companies. This is also good news to obviously uh, even companies that are listed in the uh, stock exchange, because then this means that, of course, the SA Reserve Bank won't be as aggressive as much looking at the fact that, of course, uh, inflation or the cost of living, it is is uh, decreasing which you already know that the target or the inflation bracket that of course the SA Reserve Bank is targeting is an inflation of between three and six percent and looking at the fact that right now we are at an inflation of around six point eight percent it is something that is uh, good and looking at the fact that also petrol or things like petrol uh, is expected to decrease in June it might mean even more good news in the month that are ahead which is something that obviously it's uh, good because in an economic environment where we are seeing high rate hikes companies don't really do very well companies don't do well which is why we've been seeing uh, some of the companies or most companies in SA struggling when it comes to earnings because ladies and gents uh, over and above the load shedding or power cuts we see uh, we have got a problem with high inflation which is one thing that triggers of course uh, the reserve bank to increase interest rates so it is good that uh, this uh, cost of living in South Africa, it is decreasing and uh, very soon, I suppose, maybe, maybe I don't know, maybe before the end of the year, we might get to the bracket of below 6% or at 6%, which is our, of course, or the target that the SA Reserve Bank is targeting. But nonetheless, uh, this is good news. I mean, ever since those results were announced, we are sort of like seeing uh, some recovery uh, on the top 40, which is something that obviously must just, or it tells us that the markets sort of like are liking the results of the inflation coming at 6.8 percent otherwise with all that guys i just thought i'd just give you this quick updates if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button comment and subscribe and also subscribe don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so that at least you get notified by youtube every time i drop a new content so yes otherwise i'm very excited to seeing inflation decreasing after the increases or two increases we saw in the previous two months so i'm very excited to see that finally we are getting to see inflation or the cost of living in south africa a decrease Increasing and it is heading towards, of course, uh, the six percent or the, the the three to six percent bracket. I know that load shedding is one of the things that is hurting SA businesses or SA. 
companies but of course with the fact that today we got to see at least inflation coming down this is good news because some i mean in sa right now there's not so many good news that we are reading about sa this is good news i mean oh this is probably one of the good news in recent days because all that we've been hearing about sa economy and how load shedding is impacting companies it's yeah it, it has just been bad news and bad news which getting to see that at least inflation uh, came at 6.8 percent or cost of living came at 6.8 percent it is something that obviously uh, yeah it's a good thing and i'm i'm quite excited and i think tomorrow's uh, of course interest rates decision from the reserve bank might also not be as aggressive as many people i thought otherwise that's all from me and god bless you all